My name is Dr. Samira Barani. We are here today at ACC 2019 in New Orleans. I have the pleasure today to interview Dr. Feigowski, um, a successful, well-respected female cardiologist. And uh, I would like to ask her a few questions. First thing is that I would like to know what challenges she had as a female cardiologist uh, through her training. Well, in training, I was fortunate that I had a lot of female attending, so that was actually quite wonderful. I think the challenges began after training um, in finding a job where there were actually other women, and because there were so few women in cardiology, as particularly when I finished, um, it, it was a challenge. In my first practice, I was the first woman cardiologist in the practice, and that was its own unique set of challenges. Um, and the structure of that group was cheered so that the senior members did less work and less call. And um, it was a challenge in trying to find a social life. Um, I had moved out of state where I didn't have a lot of connections. So trying to find time to promote yourself in your career and then also try and find a significant other. <laughs> was a bit difficult. Um, so I think that was a big challenge. And then feeling very isolated because there weren't other women um, that I could relate to. Well, that's understandable. Um, in, in regards to uh, taking maternity time during uh, fellowship training, um, you know, there's a lot of cat lab. Uh, um, you know, training that you have to do and there's radiation exposure. Um, what advice do you give to your um, uh, fellows that have to, um, you know, take maternity time and, you know, there will be radiation exposure and they have a fear of that and that may, you know, discourage them to go to cardiology fellowship? Well, I think there's several things in that question. The first is that when you decide to have a family, you have to do it on your schedule. What we don't talk about a lot in cardiology is fertility. And because our training is long and extensive, if you wait, you may get to the point where fertility becomes an issue and you can't have children. I was very fortunate. I'm apparently very fertile. <laughs> and I didn't have my children until much later in life because I was single. Um, so I would say you have to do what's right for you. I would recommend being very honest and upfront with your program director. Um, there is data coming out about radiation exposure and generally it's safe and we're minimizing. The great thing about cardiology now as compared to 15 years ago when I was in training is that the techniques are a lot better. I'm an electrophysiologist so we do a lot of things now without as much fluoroscopy. The procedures are quicker. So doing things to minimize your radiation exposure when you're in the lab is helpful. I wore double lead um, which is very heavy. <laughs> Very heavy, um, but you have to do what feels right to you. And I think that most programs will allow you to make up that time or you can adjust your schedule so that you're doing your very intense um, fluoroscopic procedures either later in pregnancy when it's safer, if you feel like it's safer, or after you've delivered your child. I think there's always a way to work it. If you have research in your program, you could do your research months during your pregnancy. If you have the opportunity to plan out when you're going to have a child. Yeah, I think that's very helpful. I do appreciate that. And then how do how can we overcome the biases, uh, you know, for selection for women when it comes to both interviews for fellowship and also for job selection? I think it takes um, women in cardiology collaborating together and growing and going for leadership positions. I think the way that things are going to change are getting women leaders and advocating for the women behind us. And that is actually what has motivated me to become much more active within ACC is because I need to change things for the generation behind me. So I think mentorship is key. Finding a woman who is senior to you, whether or not she's in your institution, I don't think mentors have to be in your institution. Um, I think social Social media is a great way to connect with other women cardiologists who can help guide you. And don't be afraid to ask. Just ask the questions um, and go follow your path. The one thing I think that we make as a mistake in women in cardiology is we follow this path that we think is expected of us. And I think that's where we end up unhappy and dissatisfied in work. Do what is meaningful to you, what you're passionate about, and then everything else will fall into place. That's very nice. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. <laughs>